Hey guys, producer Eric here. Just want to run down some supplemental content for you. So check this out over on our YouTube channel and over in facepod.com. You can go watch the second bean hole video, but that's not it because through December, we have supplemental content for you. You can check out the Christmas movie draft. That's over there. So is the Christmas music draft. That's all the stuff that's come out so far, but pretty soon we have the Christmas catalog of 98 browse through where we go through a cool Christmas catalog of 98, check out some cool toys. It is very long, so prepare for that one. We also have the waxing video. That's right, the waxing has occurred and you will see the video of it on December the 30th. And to bring you into the new year, as promised, we have two fruit throw videos, the true fruit throw video, and then the fruit throw video with Andrew's commentary. And that's all coming your way on our YouTube channel and at facepod.com. But enough of that stuff. Let's get to the show. This will be episode 185, by the way, and I have something written down that says talk about wheel, wheel of Years. So that's just a note before we get going. Uh, let's talk about Wheel of Years. But you guys want to see something cool? Of course. Feet, yes, feet, feet. Oh. <gasps> it worked! Wow. Holy shit! Holy fuck! Eric has unlocked the secret of how <laughs> to summon Gavin whenever he wants it's to. It's worked. Two what? times now. <laughs> yeah. Is this the thing that you always talk about after I get hit or like, I don't know what you're talking. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the thing you were talking about last time? Uh-huh. You know, Gavin, how, you know how <laughs> Columbus tricked a, a tribe of people because he knew an eclipse was coming and they didn't and he leveraged that? Like he just knew. So they thought uh, he had powers. Yeah. Eric has done that with your being on time. Eric has a power over you <laughs> that we didn't understand. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see if yeah. he has that power next week. Uh, I, Ooh. I'm not worried. I've been, I've been two for two with it. I might just retire on top. Retire at two? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Who knows? Honestly, let's see who remembers next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is episode 185. Jeff, do the intro. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the F*** face podcast this is episode 185 my name is jeff ramsey with me as always andrew panton and gavin free hello boys hello which was the one that we're meant to have is it 187 that was going to be the best episode of all time we did this no last that's the week. merc episode what are it's, we talking uh, about it's like 196 <laughs> 196 what? wait what are we in a time loop <laughs> this is isn't this how literally last week's episode yeah. started am i insane no is you're it? absolutely correct yeah, yeah. Gavin, get, with gavin asking did the question the exact I believe. same thing last week and eric did the what is going on how, how do you think i lock it in because it's not sticking make it stick i don't know so anyway we'll see who remembers our thing for next week. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i'll be honest my uh i could hear myself slightly delayed in my headphones and I'm barely able to speak. I don't know what's going on. Are you like that lady on that newscast? Oh, the Tip de, de Derrickson thing? Yeah. Bertation. Bertation? Damn. Yeah, Bertation. Do you need to, uh, do you need to fix it? I mean, you can like, you can step out and fix it and stuff. You can step out. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Just, uh, I'll just turn, oh. All right, man. We'll now. see you later. You okay. Yeah. We'll talk to you later, Gavin. We'll keep nice going here. You here. If you, if you figure it out, you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of figuring it out, uh, I'm proud to say Chuck's been working lately a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We played till like 2 a.m. last night. Only crashed twice. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, in four hours, that's pretty fucking good for me. Sometimes they crash nine times in 30 minutes. That's actually uh, incredible. Yeah, yeah. Two nights in a row, it's been like real smooth. That game is good, and that's the worst part. Because I was having fun. I, I tried to play some trucks to just get, get my grips on it. And I was having a good time. And then I was in the middle of a mission and I was on the last part and it just crashed on me. And I was confronted with, do I want to give my heart to this thing that Jeff has in the way that he has? <laughs> knowing the pain and that this is going to constantly happen. And I don't think I can do it. I think I'm going to pop in and out in trucks and have fun when I'm there. But I can't commit. Because but you're out of for now? Crashing. So here's the nice thing about it. We've developed workarounds so that it minimizes the fuckery. 
So we only play in Antonio's trucks on Antonio's map. That way, if I get kicked or Burn Dog gets kicked or if either of you play and you get kicked, the truck and the items stay exactly where they were when you got kicked. So you just come back in and you pick up where you left off. You just have to give up on the idea of using your own vehicles, which is totally, totally fine because they're all the same anyway. <laughs> okay. It's just so. a progression thing. Have you ever played yeah. single player? Do you know if it crashes as much in the single player mode? It does not. I've played, I play single player sometimes. Uh, like, like if I have like 30 minutes to kill, I'll knock out a mission here and there. It's only crashed on okay. me once in single player. Oh, wow. Yeah. Maybe you'll look at that. Gavin, do you think we should uh, partner up with any franchises since we're doing, you know, new episode, new material? Any restaurants? So, a melting pot, right? <laughs> Yes, yes, the melting pot. <laughs> it was a mistake to attempt to buy a melting pot. Let me tell you. Oh, and I don't know. Oh, oh do, you, do you have an update? I, oh, I've got. You, I got twenty five updates. <laughs> I've been getting emails from the melting pot every day about you should get this franchise, and uh, I I haven't been reading them for the most part because they're kind of they're they're bracketed in a weird way. Do you think you could get them down? Because 500,000 is a really, really round number. Uh, well, I, I maybe. I didn't consider that as an option because I don't want a melting pot. Ah. And you also don't want one, which is the weirdest part about this whole thing. Uh, just as a reminder, I said I put in a fictional city as to where I wanted one, <laughs> said I didn't have the money, didn't know anyone that did, and have only done this because a friend told me that it was a good idea. And I've been getting all these emails. And I noticed uh, one of them said, like, I'd love to call you next week so oh we can God. have a talk about this opportunity. And I thought, they surely are not going to call. But, but they did. <laughs> they, in fact, did call. And I did not answer. Oh, come on. Uh, but I have a voicemail from them that I can try to play. The speaker on my phone is not the best, but I'll. Well, I'll you're gonna play to... a voice. You're gonna play a corporate voicemail from someone yeah, unbeknownst from the, to them. Yeah, from the melting well, pot. Well, just change. Do a voice change on it. Yeah, and Nick will fix it in post. Uh, yeah, just do a voice change. Just put. Just press the voice change button. How about this? How about this? We'll have Jack reperform the voicemail. That Why do his can't best we impression. use the voicemail? Well, because there's not a consent. I don't know. Yeah, you probably I, need consent from this person. I mean, to, it just to, I don't, to me, it's to me, it's less even consent and more like we're really hammering the melting pot, and this person's just doing their job. <laughs> yeah, that too. I like the <laughs> idea of Jack re Jack's them. reenactment. <laughs> right, but that's going to be so much work for everyone to try to get Jack to well, do something, isn't it? You can get yeah. someone who's easier to get. Hey, Andrew, this is Alan over at Melting Pot uh, Franchising. I saw that you uh, sent over an inquiry uh, not too recently. Uh, I wanted to reach out and talk to you about uh, opportunities we see. Um, feel free to give me a call back if you're interested in learning about the process and becoming a franchise owner yourself. I'm available at or my cell phone. Thank you so much, and uh, I look forward to talking to you. Bye-bye. Yeah, we'll definitely <laughs> cut out the phone numbers. Uh, yeah, the yeah. phone numbers okay. can't be on. That yeah. uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, just based on that that phone call, that guy will not like you. Nope. <laughs> no. Well, uh, he he texted me as well. <laughs> they gagging for it. After that, and uh, <laughs> he's really good at his job. <laughs> he said, "Hi, Andrew. This is blank blank at Melting Pot." What about Nanaimo makes you think a melting pot would flourish there, was the question. <laughs> to which I replied, I personally don't think Nanaimo would be a good location, but my friend Gavin thinks we should get one. The hurdle is we don't have any money. Their response, or a building. <laughs> or building, or plans, or really a want to. I mean, there's a lot of hurdles, but... Yeah. Their reply to that was, I see. Well, I have a partnership matchmaking program where I can place you with someone who would be interested in finding owners <laughs> slash operators for a new build. Would you want to discuss that opportunity? And yes. I replied, no, thank you. Oh, come on. <laughs> Andrew is going to accidentally open a melting pot <laughs> store. You are, you are on the cusp of doing the funniest thing. What happened to the yes and? Yeah. Well, no, it's, it's you can yes and you can fill out your own application if you if you really want to. Do I'm already your own. on yours now. 
Oh, that's, that's Andrew, point. you're on the cusp of ownership. This no, it's really over. Important. I've said no thank you, and his response was, heard. Thank you for your interest. <laughs> oh, you should so. reply, I had absolutely no interest. <laughs> nah, I, I said thank you. Is okay. it? Response. But you could respond with, I've had second thoughts. <laughs> I could later, yeah. But this is, once again, this is just a man doing his job, so I don't want to... I feel like we follow this thing through its natural end. I don't want to just mess with this person. <laughs> I'm, I'm messing with other people is Nick what's is, happening. Nick's, Nick is making me laugh in the Discord. You should just respond with, you son of a bitch, I'm back in. <laughs> I'd love to, but I don't want to. It's He's like, going to place main... you with somebody who's got the seed money. Yeah. But I don't want... I'm scared of that accidentally happening. Is what Are you worried that he works on commission? What? Well, like he probably gets paid no matter what happens with you. Yeah, yeah. but I, I'm wasting his time. What are you afraid of? Success? <laughs> I think you are. Are you afraid of being a, a busy businessman who owns his own melting pot? And by the way, probably gets to eat there for free. Are you scared of getting an invoice for five hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> Oh, we we just get the Eric card if that happened, but uh, we certainly wouldn't. Absolutely not. What do you mean? I'm not paying an invoice for five hundred thousand dollars. It's for no, the he brings show. Up a good point. That should it's be the not, It's card. not for the show. It's for Hold Andrew. On. No, no, fondue? no. But it is for the show because Andrew's for the show. Yeah. But I think what Eric's getting at is he doesn't do that stuff anymore. He has Gracie do it. So. Gracie I think what he's trying to say is card. Gracie can... Oh, yeah, there you go. See, Gracie's got the card. Go. Gracie it's loves to spend the, 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 the last thing Gracie ever purchased is, <laughs> is a $500,000 melting pot. Gracie, how do you feel about fondue? <laughs> Liquid cheese is my favorite thing, so I'm in. Okay, oh, yeah. there we go. We, we got to... Go. I'm going to reply to Colin later tonight and let him this know, even sucks. though I blanked his name this before. This is not good. <laughs> I got an investor. <laughs> But we're gonna we. What if you just send him the Gracie. sixteen digits she's, from the card? She's an associate producer. <laughs> Can we put this on credit? She's about to be producing melting pots. Is what she's gonna be producing. <laughs> can we? Can we? I know it's a franchise, but can we get a permission to rename it a regulation melting pot? Oh, these are all great questions. I feel like that'll help us stand out. Because you guys really want it, I'll do at least one more text in this tone, <laughs> and we'll see what happens. But I, I really don't want to continue to pester, unless he's open to it. If he has fun, <laughs> you said that this guy would not like me, Jeff, which makes me think we should not do this. But No, yeah, he doesn't like He already doesn't like you. Before well, even, I, even the text, I could tell by his, te by his I voicemail could, I he didn't like I swing the tone. You guys would not hang out. No, uh, I mean, Maybe. Maybe None not. of this would have happened if they put a little bit of space between their book a reservation and buy a restaurant on the website. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot why this even started. Let's not forget how we ended up down this little spiral. <laughs> little oh, spiral. God. I, uh, I woke up to a, a great email the other day, which is that I, I was more than willing to mess with. I woke up to a, like, eight email chain for a thing related to the stinky dragon and it was the strangest first email where it was like you've agreed to do this work and it needs to be sent in by tuesday what is your rate for doing this and it was for pngs and i was like what is going on why did i didn't agree what it png is a photo right i think that's an image thing why am i expected to do photo and so i'm trying to like read up and down the chain of like when this was pitched, because I never got the pitch email. Like this is clearly at the end of the thing to wrap it up. And I'm reading that. And then Blaine is giving additional instructions to me as a side <laughs> thing that's following up. It's like, Andrew, when you do this, we really want this type of style to it. And I'm completely baffled. And then I realized, oh, this is this is somebody, there are multiple Andrews at the company. There's also somebody who is Andrew Douglas, which is my middle name. There's a second Andrew Douglas, and I got accidentally roped in on the final chain of this email of them finalizing the contract for them doing this work. 
They e- <laughs> they emailed Andrew Panton thinking that he's my old roommate and friend, Andrew Douglas, who does the art for Stinky Dragon, <laughs> and nobody stopped to check. They just kept emailing Andrew Panton going, draw this stuff. What are you doing? Well, no, what was weird is I wish that was the case because I would have understood what was going on. They had sent it the right way 95% of the way, and then on the one-yard line, just threw my email in when asking what the rate would be. So did you get it done? Well, here's the thing. I was very confused. I would have, I would have quoted a very uh, wow. com- aggressive rate if I were you. Absolutely. Well, I it went through a process of first panic that I was expected to do this work <laughs> that I didn't understand what it was <laughs> and that it was due the next day. Then just confusion for what the actual task was that I was supposed to be doing. Then I understood what happened. And uh, I said that I'd be willing to do the work for six times whatever the other Andrew Douglas was asking for, <laughs> but it would be 10,000 times worse. And they did not take me as a serious uh, negotiator. I also said that any further negotiations would be have to would have to go through Johnny.caviar at roosterteeth.com. Which, uh, smart. That's smart. They did, they did not follow through on that either. To be clear, I just want everyone to know, like... Andrew draws like this stuff. It's like, here's a cat and a crazy bird man. And they're just emailing Andrew Pant and going, this got to get done tomorrow. And it's, this is what a mess. It would, what a mess. Would, I, I was tempted to attempt to draw things for based on the guideline, but it would be Dude. too bad. Dude, you should have. That would have been maybe funny it, just to turn your work in. Maybe I will. Maybe I can turn it. It, it, it would have been funny, except it would have pushed them up against some sort of a deadline that would have totally fucked them. By playing uh, along. They're probably already <laughs> fucked. They wasted yeah. a day. Oh, yeah, they already did. Andrew yeah. Stanton going this. You have to get this done tomorrow, Andrew. Yeah, they already sent it to the wrong Andrew. I feel like you should throw in, th- throw in some work just to help him out. Do you think maybe EMs. I should like throw in some work and be like, hey, just you know, in the future. I know this is a mistake, but you know, if, things you, if you ever need a guy, if you ever need a guy looking straight up, you should attach your artwork along with the invoice. Okay, I'll do that. How about is? Do you have any other? Uh, Andrew Douglas pieces, Eric. Oh can yeah, you, yeah. Can you send me I like mean, three, and I'll I'll recreate them, okay. and then I can show them to you guys. Uh, what I send them. Is okay, like, hang hey, on. I, okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna send you. You can recreate. So there's that. That's from Stinky Dragon. I want to give you some of his okay, portfolio. So it's a cat. Yeah, and uh, and a bird and then man. Here's his. Here's his Twitter avatar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's like it's like a it's like a. Green man with a big tongue, big eyes, uh-huh. Uh-huh. horns, uh-huh. and a baseball cap. So that, so there's that the zombie guy. Uh huh. And okay. then let's see what else. I actually feel good about that one. I think I I could do. I think I could do that one. Okay. And then here's here's one that I think you can do also. This is more of his sketchy sort of stuff, uh, oh, where he's cute. sort of deteriorating, become a skeleton man, and he says, "That's it. I'm officially hangry." <laughs> okay. Got it. That one's there's not even color in that one. No, 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 no. A lot of his stuff is mostly black and white stuff, and I really like it. And uh, yeah, it's great. It looks great. Yeah, he does. He does really, really good stuff. You follow at Angie Moto, a A N G I M O T O. If you want to check out his stuff, he did all the stuff for Good Morning from Hell also, and then he just naturally folded over into this. He's just maybe an artist. Maybe you could reimagine Ian as a skull. (gasps) Yeah, I like that idea. Uh He. Here's one where he drew me yelling at him to press the X button. <laughs> while uh, on with L. while we're doing the Andrew commercial, should we also mention that he <laughs> helped pick up home runs when we were hitting? He the balls did, yeah. There? He's uh, he he was there shagging balls for us when Jeff was hitting dingers. Yeah, uh, he was doing what? Huh? He was fucking oh, the you're, baseballs. You're British. He was fucking baseballs while Jeff was hitting <laughs> them with a baseball. Bat. Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you, man. I like that panel of all the X buttons from all the consoles. Yeah, that is, uh, that's me. That's an actual thing where we were playing Zelda. He was playing Zelda. I was watching him, and then he's like, I don't know how to beat this guy. And I, that's me yelling at him to press X and, <laughs> and, him, and him stressing the fuck out. He's Hitting the only else. guy, <clears throat> he's the only guy that I've met that doesn't like NFL Red Zone. <laughs> he told me, it's too many games, man. It stresses me out. <laughs> It is all the games. It's just that, right, but that's the point. T- too much of something does freak me out too. What? That's why he doesn't like forests. Too many trees. Oh. I, I, 
I get really anxious and it makes me kind of want to vomit when if I'm like on Google Maps and I zoom in to the middle of nowhere and like find a school or something. And I'm just like, how would I, how would I ever find this again? And the fact that the earth is so big and I, <laughs> yeah. I can get lost on the map from my own office, it just freaks me out. It makes me want to throw I, up. You've created, but you've created all the stress in this yeah. scenario. All of the anxiety is, is manufactured by you. It you just never need to easy. find that school why. again. It doesn't matter. The location <laughs> of the school is completely irrelevant to your life. You don't need to worry about that. And then You're I start also, thinking about how long it would take me to get there if I really had to get there right now. It'd be probably days. That's insane. I can kind of relate. Do you foresee needing to get there? No. Well, I hope not. I have dreams where I will be like I'm trying to get home and then I'll, I'll get lost or I'll like go on the wrong boat. And I'll go, ah, oh, fuck, now how am I, this is going to take so much longer to get home. And then I'll realize, oh, wait, I'm, I'm sleeping. I'm in my bed sleeping. If I just wake up, I'm home. And then I wake up and go, fuck yeah, immediate, immediately back. So I kind of understand, but it's a strange thing. I don't know why you're worried about this school. I'm going to try, try and find it again. You should. It's a little weird that you're obsessed with a school, but. <laughs> it was just what I found. Okay. But you seem to really want to go there is the issue. What are you looking to learn? Oh, Gavin is sharing his screen. We're going to Earth. So I think okay, I remember so where it was, but it, it, it really freaked me out. Like, let me know if this okay. freaks you out. There's a school and it's like. So we're zooming into the Earth right now. Yeah. And I think it's like, oh, boy, this is just water. It appears. What is going on? <laughs> okay, we're zooming in. This is like the intro this, credit scene this. to a Tony Scott movie. Oh, it this is this absolutely school. Jason Bourne yeah. is about to pop up. This I'm very excited. But like, what? But look, that's just so in the middle of nowhere. Look, you imagine going in there? No, that's crazy. Nick, Nick, it's too the big. Flat. The world's too big. <laughs> Nick is going no. What? <laughs> what is it? An active school? I don't know anything about this school. It just freaked me out. <laughs> oh my this, god. You're insane. This what is, insane. Really? What is so weird. <laughs> Gavin, <laughs> Gavin has been getting weirder and weirder as the episodes go on for the last one. So like this fall, it's been like it's been like odd Gavin fall. Oh my god. Do you just zoom into a random places on Google Maps and go, Ah, it's a building! It's a warehouse! Andrew, that's almost exactly what happens. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> well, stop. It's clearly freaking you out. <laughs> Why do you continue to do it? What are you gaining from this experience? <laughs> I don't know. I'm inter interested in geography, but it's scary out there. <laughs> well, just don't zoom in. Just stay at a distance. Okay. But it's it's scary out there. You're not out there. You're so safe in here. Yeah, I just get really thankful afterwards. I'm just like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> thank God you what didn't do you have do? to go to a school in the middle of nowhere, huh? Yeah, like what mm. if? What about when you're flying and like you you look out the window and you see like things that you might not place? Well, like, like a you turkey get sandwich. Up by that. Well, yeah, like a turkey sandwich is a good one. Or, like, I, I know when I fly to Arizona, you That's see, funny. like, a lot of just random industrial-type buildings in the desert, and I always think that's interesting. I think about, like, I, who works there and their it's commute. It's scary to me. Not, <laughs> I, yeah. always, I always think of how soft everything looks and how it's not really soft, and it bums me out. <laughs> in, in, from an airplane, green stuff looks like, it'd be like, oh, I just roll around in that. It'd be, like, fucking super soft, but it's not. It's not really soft. It's super hard and pokey. I wonder why. Is it because you know where that is? Like when you're flying, like it feels like you could recreate your ability to get back there. I'm curious what aspect of this is actually your anxiety. What are you afraid of? Uh, it's the zooming. Like when you're on a plane, there's no <laughs> zoom factor. It's all just. <laughs> so you if you had binoculars and you were on a plane and you could zoom in, it would get really scary. No, I think it's more zooming out that scares me. Oh, it's the feeling of insignificance and small. Yeah, just feeling all tiny. We're getting to your rational point of thought. That feels understandable to me. You ever, like, when you look up at the stars, yeah, I, I understand. Yeah. 
feel very. See, see, looking at the stars to me is less scary. Really? What? It's so it's because I can't because I don't have any equipment to look deeper. Sounds to me like you need a telescope. Yeah, that would freak me out probably. <laughs> it would. <laughs> don't you have? I thought I thought you had a telescope. He no, definitely has it. He's Mr. Science. He's going to have thought, a lens. Yeah, didn't somewhere. we do the whole thing and you went through and like we made fun of you for liking telescopes or something? Like the catalog? Yeah. If you look at something in a microscope, do you freak out when you back out? Oh, yeah. I can go too deep on a microscope, too. And then that bothers you. Yeah. It's something about... Yeah, it's just something about the zoom, I think. Zooming for... Like, have you ever seen those... Uh, the Mandelbrot set? It's like a weird, like, mathematical pattern and you, it just, like, infinitely zooms. It honestly makes me want to throw up. Like those videos, like those illusion videos? What are you talking about? I don't know. It's, it's nerd shit. <laughs> it's, okay. I was trying to relate. I've seen those like weird art type videos where it constantly gives you the effect of zooming and it loops. Don't. That's dude, like, that, would, that would kill him if he watched that. <laughs> Can you imagine? That'd be the worst thing ever for you, Gavin, if you were stuck in a constant zoom out and you could never escape. You just kept zooming out forever. Well, yeah, that's that's okay. So that's what this is. Don't look at it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I start to think like, okay, well, I, I start to try and track where I am as it zooms in. I'm like, okay, so it went in and then it zoomed like up to the right. And then it just gets to be too much information where I'm just like, man, if I lost something here, I would never find it again. And that uh, idea freaks me out. If anyone wants to watch this, it's called the hardest trip <laughs> to Mandel brought fractal zoom. And it just it's keeps just, going. And it's just sort of what like visually it's sort of what it's like to be on mushrooms <laughs> i really appreciate gavin's it just keeps going like that should be on the front of the box i like skipping through the video and seeing where it is and going Ooh, wonder how he got there it's pretty exciting <laughs> okay so don't never have you zoom in or zoom out anything that makes you realize things are a lot vaster or smaller you do not like yeah I want to just be my size. <laughs> now, is there any aspect about your current size that you, you wish was smaller? Huh. I've been thinking about this. I wish I had smaller feet. I see I I only positives to having tiny feet. Nobody's what? asking you to pick nose. Yeah, your nose is a defining feature on you. It's lovely. <laughs> Yeah, that was not a setup. I'm just curious because I've been genuinely thinking about, man, life would be better with small feet. I do wish you, do you like feet. trip over your feet because they're too big? No, big I feet? was looking at, uh, I have 11, size 11 feet, uh, which are not like massive. But the issue is when you, when there's like a cool sneaker, it's always sold out in like the mm. common sizes. But then there's a million that are in like the, the size six, seven, eight kind of range. Uh, yeah, and I, I just don't see saying. a disadvantage to having small feet. It is that it, you have like the most common shoe size and it's the fucking worst. Yes. I, I wear a 10 and a half, same kind of thing. A lot of places don't make half sizes anyway. And so it's just, it's always a fucking cramming into a 10 or an 11 or getting lucky and finding a 10 and a half when everybody else is looking for a 10 and a half. It sucks, dude. Right it does. Way. And I just don't feel like there's a small foot insecurity. Like, I don't think anyone cares. I only see it as a positive. Nobody's like, look at that guy's feet. They're fucking tiny. How embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what are you, a size eight? You bitch. Unless you're at like Disney and you're wearing sandals. And well, then you because you go like, well, look at those feet. They don't look human. That's yeah, that's true. That's different. It wasn't the size. That's true. I'm not I'm not saying like a baby foot, just a small, a tiny foot. Like I got tiny hands. I wish my hands I if I could swap and have larger hands and tinier feet. That's the dream body. That's the adjustment I need. So, wait, what is that? Larger hands and what? Uh, no, I'm saying I. That's the that's dream, the dream body. <laughs> I'm saying for me, if we were optimizing my my body, mm. if you could, because uh, I have tiny hands, but I have average to slightly big feet. If I could swap <laughs> my feet and make my hands be <laughs> average to slightly big, and my feet be tiny, that's me in my optimal form. Do you want to be able to like hold your own foot in the palm of your hand, like when you touch a baby's foot? <laughs> I don't. Uh, well, with your big, big hands, you might be able to, you know. But you I don't got, want freakishly large hands. I just want big hands. But you're happy with your extra long back and the size of your head. Yeah. Yeah. Is this that's just more perfect. stuff 
added to like the description to draw Andrew is just like <laughs> big feet, small hands. But then when you draw Dream Andrew, everything's the same, but it's big hands, small feet. So are you like <laughs> Uncle Jack and it's always sunny with your hands? I don't remember Uncle Jack's hands. Uh, he had, he was the lawyer who had tiny hands and he was always trying to yeah. hide his hands. Yeah, like I'm not Trump. trying to hide them, but Donald Trump, I have small hands. The ex-president. Yeah. Interesting. Once again, though, he pretends they're huge or whatever, right? Like he. I gotta say, I've seen your hands. I, I feel like a lot over the course of knowing you, and they seem totally fine to me. I, they're just smaller. I feel like Jeff has strong opinions on people's hands. He's like a really? real hand noticer. I don't I, notice anyone's hands ever. Is that something uh, you lock in on, Jeff? I didn't realize it until this moment, but maybe Gavin's right. I had I never considered it. I've just been around you where you comment on other people's hands. Oh. Huh. I don't, yeah, I could see that. I'm pretty judgmental in general. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, did, <laughs> did anybody have anything they wanted to talk about this week other than hands and feet? I, I have to talk about that video you sent of Eric dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I've watched it 10 times. It's phenomenal. It's, it's amazing. I think it's the contrast because you've got you've got like Alyssa on the side. She's just cutting some shapes, looking good. You got Eric's small wife who's just moving majestically, like sm like she's a genie coming out the end of a lamp. And then you've got Eric who seems to rotate between every type of puppet. Like he goes from like <laughs> marionette, and then suddenly he's got like rods coming from below. It's like absolutely the, the weirdest contrast of. <laughs> of different dances. It's like Jim, it's like Jim Carrey and fun with Dick and Jane. It's like, yeah. I'm a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over it. When that when that video got sent to me, I watched it 20 times probably. In one city. Yeah. <laughs> Who took it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Really? I yeah. assumed you did. No, no, I I, I didn't know. <laughs> I, so I gave you I gave you the only note or media I took at the wedding, which was that Nick is a <laughs> Nick really likes to dance. Oh yeah, I didn't find out about that. Uh, I didn't know that Eric danced at the wedding until like three or four days later when the video when I got sent the video. I didn't dance very much at the wedding. I'm very specific about what I want to move to, um, mm. especially mm. in a venue like a wedding where I couldn't get drunk. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about it, that. By the way, no, no, not your fault. Uh, absolutely, but. Uh, Nina Sky, Move Your Body, great song. Great song and I'd say, to dance to. For not being drunk, phenomenal effort. Oh, that's, I, sometimes you just got, you got to, you get out there and you give 110%. And, yep. And then that, end, like that ends and it starts, like, I think it started and they were playing like Kiss by Prince and I went, fucking great song and it got me out there and then they played that and I went, awesome and then they played something else and I went, and that's enough for me. And I, <laughs> I'm just particular. Well, I'm just, I agree. You were given it 110% for sure. Yeah, I fun. thought it was, I thought it was fantastic. It was great moves. That's why I wanted to share it. I didn't know that Eric was so talented on the dance floor. Oh, thank you. Uh, I've been to many weddings and have danced that way many, many, many times. It showed. So, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very Look much. practiced. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, you just got, you feel the rhythm, move your body. Great song. It's just, yeah. sometimes you get out there and, and it's exactly what you want to hear. You're letting the song do all the work, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm just moving 100%. my body like it says move your body. Yeah. So yeah, those are simply instructions. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. We're in the holiday season. It's a stressful time. You got to get gifts for people to be a lot. Or maybe you don't. You know, like different families and different friend groups have different procedures, but it's still just a time in which I personally feel uh, both incredibly excited as well as very, very stressed. Uh, whether or not your family gives gifts during the holidays, you get to define how you give to yourself. And the holidays are a great time to do that. So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during the tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season, which is so important all seasons. Um, something that I have struggled with in the past is loving who I am and embracing myself and, and understanding, not just understanding, but feeling, I guess, is the difficult part that I've had of logically knowing that I deserve to take care of myself and love the person that I am. But to fully embrace that is something that I struggled with for a long time that therapy really helped me with. Um, 
which is, therapy has helped me in so many ways, as I talk about every time. I couldn't recommend it enough. Uh, I think it's a really important process to go through, and I gained so many um, positive things that I would have never discovered or, or learned about myself without going through that process. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com face today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash face. Looking for the perfect gift for the coffee lover in your life? Look no further than Kato's Coffee. We're offering 10% off your entire order using the promo code FACE10 at checkout. That's right. You can get the gift of delicious, fresh roasted coffee sent right to your door. So don't miss out on this amazing deal. Visit Kato'sCoffee.com today and make someone's holiday special. Let me tell you all the reasons why I love Kato's Coffee. There's too many, so I'm not going to list all of them, but... An amazing thing about Kato's Coffee is regardless of the coffee drinker you are, they have a way to serve you. So if you like the convenience of K-Cups, they got you covered. Uh, If you like whole bean bags to grind yourself, they got you. Uh, They also have the ability to offer wholesale sizes for businesses and restaurants, which is awesome. They also just offer a huge variety of flavors. You have so much coffee options to choose from. Whether you like light, medium, or dark roast, single origin coffees from specific regions or blends, Kato's Coffee has you. And everybody I know that has had Kato's Coffee absolutely loves it. It's a fantastic product. You make great coffee. Just, I, I can't say enough nice things about Kato's Coffee. So once again, if you would like 10% off your entire order, use code FACE10 at Kato'sCoffee.com. Hey, hey you. Yeah, you. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts at nuts.com. Do you wish you could go to Willy Wonka's Candy Factory? Do you like musicals? Because it's a musical, but they're not going to tell. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Who cares about Willy Wonka? I'm here to tell you about nuts.com and that the modern uh, real version of that is nuts.com. Because in addition to an amazing selection of nuts, they have tons of classic candies like butterscotch, fudge, and licorice. Nuts.com is your one-stop shop for freshly roasted nuts, dried fruit, sweets, pantry staples like specialty flowers and more. Their wide selections means there's something for everyone. At Nuts.com, quality is a top priority. They roast their nuts and pop their corn the same day it ships, so they reach you deliciously fresh, satisfaction guaranteed. Now, you probably know that I'm a massive snacks guy. I love all types of snacks, sweet, salty, I don't care. I'm, I'm all about it. And there is uh, nothing uh, greater than I could say than than I devour bags of nuts.com, especially their chocolate gummy bears. So good. Uh, I just can't recommend them enough. They're great. You can even shop a la carte at any time or opt into hassle free auto delivery. So you never run out of your favorite items. And if you're already stocked up at home, they also sell directly to businesses right now. Nuts.com is offering new customers a free gift with the purchase and free shipping on orders of $29 or more at nuts.com slash face. So go check out all the delicious options at nuts.com slash face. You'll receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $29 or more. That's nuts.com slash face. Hey, can I tell you guys about the thing that happened to me at my honeymoon? Of course. Yeah. yeah I, I wanted to tell it last week, but we ran out of time. And I'm scared I'll forget how to tell it if I don't tell it soon. Okay. Because uh, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it's pretty. I, I think for a, uh, I think a, I think most people would be embarrassed. Not I, but uh, <laughs> maybe most people would. Uh, so for the honeymoon, Emily and I went to one of the uh, like an all inclusive resort in Cancun, very similar, Eric, to where we went together, uh, just on the other side, uh, like in Playa Mujeres. Ooh, nice. Just a little further down the road. And uh, first off, wanted to say. Uh, I, I think I sent you guys pictures, but uh, it was protected by falcons. There was a falcon mm-hmm. on site, uh, so we we felt extremely safe. Although Emily, Emily made, I, I swear to God, on day one, Emily saw a lizard and went uh, like one of those big salamander t- or like one of those big like lizards, and she goes, uh, she goes, uh, she just made eye contact. With, iguana, thank you, Gracie. She saw an iguana and she just made eye contact with it, and she was like, "Oh, that's so cute." And from that moment on. Like, iguanas talk, I guess. 
And they just like everywhere we went, there were five iguanas staring, making eye contact at Emily. Like they were either <laughs> like enraptured by her or they hated her. I couldn't figure it out. But we couldn't get away from them to the point where I think we sent you guys a videos where one of the, a video where one of the iguanas like uh, jumped up into her, into her <laughs> lap to try to get her yeah. food. Yeah, like she was fucking terrified. And every time we turned around, there was an iguana within a foot of her. One of them, we were laying down in a bed by the beach, and one of them just hopped up on the bed next to her and just walked right up to her and started eating her sandwich in front of her. Like, as if to say, fuck you, what are you going to do about it? And we were just like, ah, I got the fuck out of there. Like, it it won the sandwich. It was actually a quesadilla. It ate the whole fucking quesadilla. It was insane. (laughs) Um, And they're big. They're big. Anyway, we go to this uh, all-inclusive. It was like a little different... um, and by different, I, it was supposed to be like more romantic, but it, I think that really just meant it was a little more expensive and mm-hmm. had somehow less options, Eric. Like there was no fucking, I would say maybe the best thing at the one we went to was the buffet. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There's no buffet at this one. Oh, so like, wh- why? What? I know, right. And so you got to like go to dinner and you're like, you have to pick one of the fucking theme restaurants. You're like, I guess we're eating French tonight. Or, but how are you, you supposed know? to eat uh, like pizza and stars exactly you can't there's a pizza restaurant you can go eat pizza at did they have stars no nah, there was no stars to be found Terrible. unfortunately uh the candy selection was real dog shit if i'm being honest with you uh <laughs> but anyway i wanted to do I, I wanted to have like the most relaxing vacation ever we were only there for like four or five days and we relaxed hard when we went together eric uh but i wanted to beat that i wanted to be even more relaxing than that mm. i wanted to do even less than we did and so and i think we set out to do that we would and i felt pretty good about it we did two days that were just spa days and so the first spa day we go there and i emailed ahead cuz all that shit books up and i just said hey my my fiance and i are getting married it's going to be our honeymoon can you just pamper us for two days and uh, I don't know what I don't understand what any of this shit is. So could you just give us like the honeymoon package or whatever? And they're like, we'll take care of you. So I get an email the night before and they just go, just show up at the sauna or at the spa tomorrow in swim trunks. That's all you need. And I'm like, OK. So I just showed up in swim trunks and Emily showed up in a bathing suit. And then we did like an hour long hydrotherapy thing where they make you get in hot water and then cold water and then a sauna and then a, then a steam room and, you know, the whole thing. Right. And when we came out, they go, okay, now you're ready for your next thing. You're going to get a full body, like, sugar scrub. We're going to scrub your whole body down. And we're like, oh, cool. That sounds fun, I guess. And the lady hands me what I can only describe as a Speedo diaper. Like, if a (laughs) Speedo was a diaper. It's the same color as, like, a hospital gown, you know? Okay. And it's, like, elastic. But it's the size of a Speedo. But it looks like a p- poofy little diaper. And she goes, uh, she's like talking to Emily and telling Emily where to go. And then she tells me, she's like, just put this on and then meet us out here. And I go, okay. And I, I, she must have said some other stuff. I didn't hear her. Uh, but I'd also been blasted in the head with water jets for like the last hour. So I might not have been able to hear too good. <laughs> and so she's like, you know, just go back into your fucking uh, locker room and put this on. And I go, Okay. And when I went in there initially, because I only bought swim trunks, they were like, just go, here's your locker number, just go put your stuff in that locker and lock it. So I go and throw my phone and stuff in there and lock it. And then there's like, I didn't think about it, but there was like some, uh, there was like some rubber shoes and a uh, rope, right? And so I put, I take my clothes off, my swim trunks off, and I put the diaper on, and it looks like if ZZ Top wore a COVID mask. (laughs) It's like, pubic hair everywhere my (laughs) balls are so much bigger than this thing can accommodate and so i i got like a ball hanging out the left or a ball hanging out the right but there's no way to keep both balls contained you can stack them no no dude it's not i'm telling you it's not it's it it, it, there's not room and and it's also poofy in all the directions and it's almost like a g-string you know that that wooden toy that you can play with that like the wooden balls where like one goes down, one goes up. Like that's just what I'm imagining in my head. I wish we <laughs> yeah. knew those things were called. And so I'm looking in the mirror and I'm just dumped out of this thing. And they, like you can see like 80 percent of my dick and my ball, like most of both of my balls, honestly. And there's just like pubic hair everywhere. And I look at my look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, I mean, I we're at a spa, right? She wouldn't have told me to put it on. <laughs> If she didn't want me to wear it, so uh, fuck it, when in Rome, right? So I walk outside, and outside is into the sauna, and I don't know where to go. Emily's still inside, so I just sit like in a chair with my fucking legs open, uh, just like 
I guess showing the world everything because like fuck it, I'm, that's that's what, I'm I'm doing what she told me to do, right? I'm trying to fit in there. But then I start to notice like all the married couples and the old ladies and all the people around me are starting to look pretty fucking horrified, and uh, and and uh, like I'm getting a lot of dirty looks. And then I hear sir, sir, and I turn over and I see my lady running at me full speed, and she goes. She's going, sir, no, sir, no, no, sir, sir, no. And she gets to me, and she's out of breath by the time she gets to me, and I'm like, hey, what's up? And she's like, the robe, put your robe on. And I was like, oh, I guess I missed that part. And so I had to put my robe on. Uh, I guess I wasn't supposed to go out there in the diaper, and so I showed uh, like 30 people in my dick and my balls. That's... <laughs> And uh, yeah, I, so that's why I just, you didn't just I, see a bunch of people in robes. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I didn't think about it. There were tons I don't of people. Know in anyone robes. else? I don't know if, anyone if else. Was, this would have happened to. If what? I was unsure, I would have been peeking around every corner. I'd be just be trying to get a look of anyone. You gotta. You, you stroll you'd be, out and then spread legs. You gotta own it, dude. You gotta. I, 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 yeah, I, I thought I was the following. I was following instructions. I didn't realize I missed some of the instructions and I stopped halfway <laughs> along, but I was just following instructions. Anyway, uh, so that was real awkward. And uh, Emily started laughing and I shit you not, she didn't stop laughing for 24 hours. Like she <laughs> laughed for the in for 24 straight hours. Just any time it popped up, she just would lose it. And so I've never heard her laugh so much or so hard. Uh, it must have been hideous. I actually wanted to take a picture of the diaper. I was going to take a picture of the next day because we went back for another day of uh, another session. And uh, they didn't give me the diaper this time. And I was actually bummed because we did the same hydrotherapy thing. I didn't mean to double book it, but I did. But this time they were going to give us massages. And uh, so after I took my swim trunks off, they took us to the massage room and they were like, all right, get under the covers. We'll leave. And I usually have like underwear on when I... Uh, oh yeah, Gracie's like I wouldn't be able to show my face the second day. Yeah, no, I walked in proudly. Um, <laughs> but so the next day, I went and I learned something about myself. I've never had a completely naked uh, massage before, and I don't like them at all. Every time the lady would massage my thigh, my asshole winked, <laughs> and it was freaking me out. And I kept thinking, can this lady see that my butthole's winking at her? And why is it doing this? Why would it do this just because I'm not wearing underwear? Is she like touching something in my thigh that's making my butt wink? And it creeped me out. And so for like 30 minutes of an hour or a 90 minute massage, all I could think about is like, please stop winking my butthole, lady. Please. It wasn't relaxing. I was just terrified. Was it just the tug was like pulling your butt cheek and just opening it your hole? It was just like, just like rubbing my thigh and then my butthole would just go like, bloop, and just open up and then close and open up and close. Like it was yawning or winking. And I don't know why. I, I thought like, is it because I'm not wearing underwear? Because I'm uncomfortable with that and I'm just hyper aware? Do I always do this, but I'm not wearing underwear? So it's hidden. So I don't think about it. Is Does the lady know I'm winking at her? It, does this happen to her all the time? Fucking took me out of the massage. I got to be honest with you. So you had a relaxing time. Sort of. There was one other thing I realized. So before the wedding... I got a pedicure with some friends of mine uh, that aren't you guys. And uh, we went and, and, well, I'm just saying, like, it just, dude, I don't think you know Eric, uh, a, a different Eric um, or Come Jeremy. <laughs> Do you know Eric and Jeremy? They're like, no, but they're, they're Emily's friends. But, but if you said, I got a pedicure with some friends, we know that we didn't get that pedicure. You didn't need to clarify to us that yeah. we oh. weren't there. But yeah, well, you guys weren't there. Yeah, we, yeah. we had all the information, know, and then you yeah, just rubbed we, it we in. We were aware of that one. No, I wasn't trying to rub it in. I guess I was just trying to make it clear to the audience. <laughs> anyway, I, I just got a pedicure with some friends that aren't you guys. Uh, and uh, uh, it, <laughs> it definitely wasn't you guys. And, uh, and it was nice. And I hadn't had a pedicure, and I think I've had one in my life, so it was like kind of fun and relaxing. It was right before the wedding. Many, yeah, many I mean, petty. neither of we, so. Yeah, uh, and, uh, well, Eric, you were invited to the monthly pedicure party we're going to start having, and you well, accepted. Yeah. Okay, I accepted, but you're talking about one I didn't get to go to. But it's with these guys. This is going to be the same pedicure party we're going to go to. You, we're all going to be part of your together. pedicure parties. Work. I have. I've been invited. I haven't been issued. Like, oh, here's the when day. were you invited? Uh, uh yesterday. Talk to him yesterday. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Just you we're know, hanging out. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We're hanging out, and it's you know not a big deal. Huh. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh, I was hanging out yesterday with a friend that is Eric, and so. <laughs> 
Uh, anyway, so then I go, and one of the parts of the first spa day is another pedicure. Which, by the way, y- you need a pedicure once every... I mean, if you get a pedicure once every 10 years, I guess, is where I'm at. Two and four days is a lot. And so I thought, like, this seems <laughs> fucking excessive, but I paid for it, so whatever. And then so I get that pedicure. And then the next fucking day, when we go back to the spa, they give me a foot massage, which is cool. But then I got to thinking... Three complete strangers have been all over my feet in the last week. That's more people than have seen my feet in the last 10 years. That's just weird. Yeah, Gavin would have been in heaven. He would have been just like fucking, he would have just been cum spots everywhere. But it was like, I just thought, and I got, to, I got kind of grossed out about it when I thought about it. Like, uh, uh, I don't, like, it kind of creeped me out that all these people had touched my feet and I, my feet felt dirty and I felt like I had to wash them. And then I was like kind of happy to be leaving the honeymoon and to go home because I was like, hey, I'm done with the foot stuff at least. Like that, that was a bit much. Go through fucking security and Emily checked the bag. Uh, she's gotten really into checking bags lately, which I'm not on board with, but so what that. are you going to do? We're married now, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, and so she checked the bag. And so I had no bags in the airport, which uh, uh, em- Emily and Vanessa and Bernie, every time they see me in the airport with no bags, the second time I've done that, they say, they, t- they tell me I look like a terrorist and they don't want to stand next to me. <laughs> that like, it's, it, but if you, they're right. If you look around, everybody's got a bag but me and I definitely stand out. Uh, anyway, so. Toothbrush and shit. In the checked bag. I just throw it all in Emily's bag. Huh. She's already checking a bag like and it. it's big. So just fuck it. Have you never done that before? Like checked no. everything and just walked no. on with like nothing. Uh, I've, no, I've walked on a about, plane with nothing I don't and checked like nothing, just not I, brought anything. But. I did it one time and I was told that it is it's psycho behavior. Yeah, and that I looked like a serial killer walking on with nothing. And I well, thought I feel that like was, every that time so I travel, cool. I bring like nine lithium batteries with me, so that's all got to come. Uh-huh. They can't be checked, right? Like my laptop, and my Switch, and my Steam Deck. Got yeah, my goodies. True. You got to bring your goodies. <laughs> <laughs> So I we go through security and they like you know how they check your passport when you're getting on a plane in a foreign country before and you had to go through that little yes. like little yeah. area. And so they check my passport and it dings up and they go, Sir, you've been selected for secondary screening. And I go, Awesome. Ooh. Awesome. I'm all about it. She's like, grab your bags and come over here. And I'm like, got them. And I walk over and she's like, where's your bags? And I go, I don't have any bags. This is gonna be a real easy search for you. And she looks at me and she just gives us like really annoyed face and she's like empty your pockets and I'm like they're empty but here's my, like here's my wallet here's my phone that's it that's all I got you know and she pats me down and then she just and I'm like okay and she goes sir take your shoes off and I go uh, okay I guess <laughs> and so she makes me sit down and she watches me take my shoes off and then she's like give me your feet and then she <laughs> fucking touched my socked feet oh. to make sure I didn't have I don't know knives or guns in my fucking feet and, and I realized <laughs> those motherfuckers got me one last time. <laughs> My feet got molested one last time. Can anyway. I pass over the title then? Yeah. You're the foot guy. Oh, wow. I hadn't Fuck. even considered that. Jeff, you might be the foot guy. I'm a I reluctant foot guy. It's like how Gavin says, uh, I don't want girls to put their finger on my butt. They just do it all the time. <laughs> I don't want anybody to touch my fucking feet. They just keep doing it. Sorry, Gracie. <laughs> That's oh, 10 years God, old. Huh? Everybody knows that. That's old achievement Every, hunter shit. Everybody knows that. Uh, you know, I just had a bit of a run. <laughs> a bit of a run? A run is one way to describe it. Oh, my God. I, you know, that... I, just, I had nothing to do with it, really. <laughs> it sounds like you were a main player in it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys seen that TikTok going around about supposedly <laughs> Michael Jackson has a different voice in private or had a different no. voice in private? Yeah. No. Is it I really? It's real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's crazy. There's no way. Yeah. He didn't sound like that. Oh, you, you know, see the like he apparently in Ready to Rumble 2, he was a character in it. He did. And the voice it's his that. it's his real voice. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think he never, could do a real deep bassy voice. Apparently, like I was, I watched a bunch of videos about it, and apparently, like anytime he was out with like other like musicians or movie stars or rappers or whoever, they'd tell these stories. They'd be like, as soon as everybody would like leave the green room, and it was just like me and Michael Jordan or Michael Jackson. He'd be like, I thought those motherfuckers would never leave anyway. He'd be like a totally like he'd drop it and just go into a totally like macho dude. I I have this with Timothy Oliphant. If oh really. Yeah, I, I'm. That is my conspiracy. I think he is like Mister Fake Voice. 
Mm. If you watch him what? in like Scream, watch him acting in Scream. He has the most high pitch, nasally voice. And then I watched an interview at around that time, and he has the same voice. And now he always sounds like a really gruff kind of rustic cowboy. Thing. Interesting. I think well, voices can age. Uh, it's ah. it's a complete shift in both tone and style of speaking. I think he put a real effort in because he had a shit voice when he made Scream. <laughs> <laughs> he went all like Elizabeth Holmes with it. Yeah. <laughs> I posted a uh, I posted a TikTok if you want to hear Michael Jackson's supposedly real voice from uh, Ready to Rumble Two. Yeah, there's, apparently that's there's what him. he actually sounds like, and the high pitched voice was a something he put on for the for the audience. With this groove, I can't lose. Weird, right? Yeah. I'm sure you can yeah. probably play that in this, like in the <laughs> file too. Yeah, like, who cares? I, I, do we it. can talk it's, over. It's I don't Ready know to Rumble Two. You're fine. We would do a video game in it, so why wouldn't we? Or do a let's play in it? Why wouldn't we? Yeah, there you go. Andrew, why don't you do your real voice? This is my real <laughs> voice. <laughs> Who's high pitch? <laughs> I'm a real boy. <laughs> no, yeah. What would be, I think it would be low, right? My real voice? It would be funnier. Yeah. I think it's funnier low than high. Oh, my ankle. No, nah, it's not. <laughs> I got to work on that. Oh, fuck. Because every impression more, more he does ankle. Is He's selling Andre the Giant. <laughs> hey, Gavin. Uh, yeah. You and I have uh, something we got to do together. We've got to write our smut. Oh, yeah. Speaking I, of I, anal runs. I was going to propose something to you. I was going to see how you feel about this. You and I are going together. I don't know if anybody else knows about this, but you and I are going to New York City together to spend the weekend together. Uh, yeah. me, me and you, uh, we're going to go Friday to Sunday. Uh, the girls are going to be doing something, and so we're, we're going to have most of the time just to ourselves, I think, except for like dinner and, and shows and stuff. Yeah. What if we found the location in New York City that's like the best like poet, uh, like grizzled New York journalist writer bar where like all the most famous, like all the beat poets, all the most famous <laughs> literary figures went, and we go there, and that's where we sit down and write our smut. That's where we put pen to paper. It'd be like the time where we were in what country were we in when we came up with episode one hundred of Minecraft? Uh, we, we were in Hungary, I believe. Yeah, it needs to be like that. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to recreate that moment, but I thought like we might be inspired if we're at like some dive where like Allen Ginsberg wrote his best stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should absolutely do that. Okay, because I got another. Uh, yeah, Saturday morning. Because I, I was thinking about today, I was like, "What the fuck are we gonna do all day?" I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I was trying to think. When was the last time Gavin and I in New York City together? What have we ever done together in New York City? Like, are we just gonna fucking? I think last I mean, time I we were like, both there, we we went to Rockstar. Oh. Or we did like a live show or something. Yeah. Oh. You guys should go back to Rockstar. Maybe let's play. <laughs> maybe it's a let's play live or something. <laughs> I can't believe that, that that GTA 6 trailer came out and then it said 2025 at the end. Mm -hmm. And then I just thought about how many GTAs I have left in my life. And I think it's three. <laughs> maybe. Maybe yes. three. I, think I actually wrote that as a comment on the trailer and it got, it got like 300,000 likes. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that being said, how fucking cool is that trailer? Oh, ah, I can't wait. It's very cool. I can't wait for us to play it. I know it's gonna be 50% of what we see there when you actually get into multiplayer and sit down to play it, but 50% of what I saw in that trailer is fucking awesome. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just have a hard time getting excited for something that's going to come out long after I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at the look at the top comment on that. <laughs> long after I'm dead. Do you, so you think you won't make it, Eric? Yeah, I don't think so. At this point, at the time of recording, the video's been up for 22 hours and it has, <laughs> it has 88 Wait. million views. <laughs> Wait, you made your comment from the slow mo guys account? <laughs> what other account am I gonna make it from? It's my account. I don't Dude, know I, why that's so it's funny. My, it's slow mo my YouTube guys. Account. I don't I got three GTA <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I'll be a comment lever for GTA. I've been logged into YouTube as Achievement Hunter for maybe 12 years. Yeah. And so anytime <laughs> I do, do any commenting on YouTube, it's, all, it's as Achievement Hunter. 425,000 likes, Gavin. Jesus Christ. Wow. That's, 
like a statement to the view count on that video as well. Yes, yeah. it is. Like you is. should amend it to say, also listen to f face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of uh, f face related replies to my comment. That's, that's right. some really, there's some funny ones like eat the pencil. And there's some really sad ones like a guy saying, uh, he was like, I'm 68, so this is probably my last one. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> really I mean, he's assuming he makes it to 2025. Yeah. Really. yeah. <sighs> you know it's going to get pushed. Oh, yeah. That sucks. oh, yeah. Well, oh, I feel like yeah, 2025. I didn't think about that. 2026. Yeah. I feel like they've already built in the delay with 2025. Yeah. Like, uh, I just. There's no way. It's 2026. There's it no depends way on you, where you in think? 2025. I bet you $100, I think dollars, Gavin. Oh. I Ooh. bet you $1,000. Sense. Uh, our, hey, you know what, Gavin? You're on. I think there. I think it's got to be at least 2026. I just don't think there's any way it comes out 2025. Okay, I bet you hundred dollars is 2025. Okay, okay. That's, you should have point. kept it at a hundred cents or a thousand cents, and that Maybe way you would have to have to give him pennies though. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah, right. but that's gonna be a lot of work for him to go get a bunch of pennies. I bet That's you a hundred dollars in shark cards that it releases in 2027. <laughs> I think I think someone uh, calculated that all the times that I got mugged added together came out to be something like eighteen dollars worth of real money. Oh my god! <laughs> it was honestly like millions of dollars that I got mugged for. Well worth it. That or maybe like hundreds of thousands. Um. I don't. I don't want to undercut this, but there. Th I wanted to get to a note that we had that just said "Wheel of Years," uh -huh. and we said we were going to talk about whatever that is. What is? Oh, that? I have it in my notes. Uh, I wrote down "Wheel of Years" idea, and then I amended it to say, "What was that about?" Oh, Can't remember <laughs> idea. Come on. Are we? Are we uh, like deciding on the next? No, season I. Next I have. I have since remembered it. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I just went, you just sent me, you pretzeled me. My brain, I don't know how uh, to process. Too. We were oh, lost, absolutely. then we were found. Yep. Wheel That's of my Years note. idea. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> Can't remember idea. <laughs> Did you make an addition to that that was actually, I do remember? Is no, I just edit? remember. I just have okay. since remembered. Uh, that was the majority of all the Minecraft ideas, except Jeff had had a lot of them written. So it was like that kind of thing written, but in his handwriting. Oh, yeah, that made mm. it harder. And Jeff's handwriting looks like it looks like like Ryan Dunn's tattoos. It, <laughs> it looks about as good as my photos. Uh, I think the genesis of the idea was that we make a big wheel, kind of like the wheel of punishment we have at uh, Extra Life, like the Jack wheel, you know. But it's like different years out of order from like let's say 1965 to now. And you sp like one of us takes a turn and they spin it. And then whatever year they land on, they have to then go research and find a movie to then present to us that we watch together. OK. Oh. Like a weird movie that, you know, like like something that would be watch along worthy. I like it. It was I, I, I think it was like somewhere in there and I never felt fully flushed the idea out. But that's where I was. I was headed somewhere like that with this. And so it's that not a fully good. it's not a fully baked idea necessarily. I remember that I thought about a second wheel, maybe that it was like movies, TVs or music or maybe a second wheel that it was like genre, like comedy, horror, adventure. And then you spin. both. I don't know. But uh, I just thought it would be fun to like figure out a way to randomize our searches for old weird stuff. Now, do we need? Do you need it to be a physical wheel, or could we do like a digital wheel? I would like it to be a physical wheel. I think that they're more they're more fun. And they, have you the, the clicking? Oh my god! Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, you can get there's there's virtual clicking noises. That's true. But we have the wheel. <laughs> That's yeah. But we true. Can, yeah. But we can have Gavin click the whole time when he sees the little ticker go. I don't know. It's, it's true. Not to think That's about, fair. I guess. Yeah, we can do it vir virtually. I don't give a shit. It's just it's just like. Some some level. I think I probably had it more worked out when I was going to present it to you guys two weeks ago or whenever, and then it just like it just shit out of my brain. Do you want to do a wheel spin right now? I don't know. on this thing. Do. Yeah, on this. Do you want to do a wheel spin right? Well, I don't know. We could use. Okay, well, yeah, but we'll have to do to do it properly. Can we do a wheel spin to randomize who it is? Like, can we do a us wheel spin and then? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Spin to see who will then have to spin the wheel. Yeah, spin to see who spins. Oh. So how do we pre-spin? Hang on. 
Just put everyone's names in it and then share the screen, Eric. And, and yeah, yeah, I got everybody it. Okay. records. Also, while while Eric's doing that, we were talking yesterday, and we think we we've decided that we'd both look pretty good with extensions. And then we were thinking oh, about yeah. who would look the best with extensions, Forgot and we've decided that. we want to do a supplemental video where we all have to, where Emily puts extensions in all of us, and then we have like a little beauty contest to see who. I think it would be fun just to have this length hair, but to get extensions, I think it would look cool. Nick, you're my you're my dark horse to win it. Ooh. Wow. All right. I even put Gracie in, so that's fun. I um, think Nick's got the best head for a mullet. Oh, no. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, actually, I agree with that. I think it's probably uh, just I think it would genetics. look good on Nick. Yeah. All right, come on. I, I heard what you said, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, for some reason, we're spinning this wheel. Um, what happens when somebody wins? Yeah. They then have to spin the wheel of numbers, I believe. I, I the like, though, as soon as... <laughs> As soon as we added a name to um, an egg or agneg or whatever yeah. we changed it to, we added another G name. Yes. I know. Yeah. Oh wow. So it's just a an egg, uh, <laughs> longer G's. It's just more G's, right? Egg. We could be gangeg. We can be gangeg. We can be all sorts of things. Yeah. <laughs> they, thank you, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong. I'm just we saying can, you can just throw can out ideas gang -gang all day. Or a second idea. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who? All right, Eric, are you going to spin the wheel? Let's do it. Uh, all right. Can you share the, your screen? Okay, cool. You here's the wheel it. to spin. Whoever this lands on gets to spin the wheel of years. It's spinning, and the winner is no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the winner is Gracie. The winner is Gracie. Congratulations, Gracie. You okay. get to spin the wheel of years. So Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gracie. So, can you share your screen? What? What? Well, so we can see her spin the wheel. Well, no, we're doing this right now. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have to. Well, I just assumed Eric would put numbers in and then it would be the same thing. Yeah. And it was just... Oh, we can do that too. Eric, Eric put, put... Yeah, let's do it that way. Put you like... Put, put you like, like put numbers 1950, yeah. 1960. Oh, no, like, yeah. Oh, 1962. Like, I'll give you Hang the numbers. On. I've lost track of what's going on. Yeah. So you we're... lost track of what's going on? So we just well, spun a wheel now? of names. So now it's Gracie. And now we're going to spin the wheel of years. And once a year is determined, Gracie then needs to pick a film from that year that we will watch. To present to us that we'll watch yeah. together. Okay. Yeah, what don't you get? Well, I just didn't know we were doing this now in this episode. You're the well, one that was supportive of it and said you like the yeah. idea. I was one that was like, I don't know if this is any good. I don't yeah, know if it's fully really baked like yet. Drafts when he described that didn't mean we just stopped making the episode and did drafts. Wait, what, uh, can I ask at what point when I said, Gavin, why don't we do this now? And you went, yeah, where was the. It's, I mean, it's a great question. Oh, it is a good question. Okay, so what I've done is that <laughs> I have put all the numbers from 1960 to 2023 in random. Okay, great. So hey. that way, they randomize here. Oh, Jesus. That's excellent. Now, oh, why would it do that? <laughs> why would it put <laughs> a number in front of all of them so I can't? You know what? Just, oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it did. Oh, yes. oh. it did it. Holy shit. All right, shit, we're doing it. Cool. All right, copy. Okay. Got it. Wheel of names. We randomized the numbers. And now he's going to insert the oh. random. <laughs> yes! The wheel. That looks cool. Now, that's exactly okay. what I thought it would look yep. like. All right, Gracie. Okay. Gracie, this is the yeah. wheel of numbers. And what's going to happen is we're going to spin it. And well, then we're, whatever year it lands on, you are tasked with about, picking a movie that we watch. How about to make it more okay. personalized? Gracie, how many spins would you like? Oh, um, let's do four. Four and I think spins. You, should also, you okay. should also say click. When Eric should click. No, that's your job, okay. Gavin. <laughs> Let me ask you guys a question. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do, now, do we want it? Does it have to be movie? Or are we okay with it being a TV show? Or TV episode, show as or well. Should we just, I think it should be open. Okay. I, I, think media. It's, I think it's a piece okay. of viewable media. media. A piece of, a piece of yes. viewable media. Viewable that's a great media. way to put it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's not, it's not music. It's got to be like a movie show, something yeah. like that. Uh, oh, okay. also, there was a shuffle here that I didn't, I wasn't aware of. <laughs> 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 I, like the way you, I like the way you did it. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. All right, Gracie, call it. Click. All right, here we go. All right, Our we go. first spin <laughs> is... 1991. Okay. So, irrelevant on... Ooh, do we want to remove it? No, you got to keep it, because what if it's 1991 it again, again, baby? Okay, okay. It's truly right, random. All right, Gracie, let me know when. 
Click. Got it. All right, here we go. Our second spin. This is a weird episode. Yeah. I'm right. not getting any clicks from you, Gavin. I'm very disappointed. I'm that. clicking with the second year. Dude, what are you talking oh about? God, what? 1992. Oh my God, it's a new profession. <laughs> this is fuck? so exciting. Uh, I'm clicking so much my fingers hurt. <laughs> are you serious? Are you None yeah. of it's coming through. I'll click. I'll audibly click. All right, here we go. Gracie, you let me know when. Click. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 1978. And now <laughs> the this final. will be our final spin. Let's take let's take a bet. Pick a pick a year. What guy what year do you guys think it'll be? 1987. Okay. Ooh, 97, 19, 97, 98. Okay. 1986. Oh, that's good. 2006. Uh, Okay, Ooh. Gracie, what number do you think it's going to be? I hope it's something when I was alive. So, oh. anything 2001 and up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, uh, I, honestly, I'm going to say 1995. Oh, That's going to be my guess. Here we what go. What does the winner get? Uh, I don't think anything. I think it's just a fun <laughs> thing that we're doing. <laughs> brag, bra yeah, you, yeah you get a brag about it. Um, all right, Gracie, whenever you're ready. Okay, let me get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. This Our is spin it. is winding down, and it is oh, nineteen sixty-four. Wow, nineteen sixty-four. I am that so is... excited to see what Gracie will pick. I want to do serious research. That's awesome. That's like before her parents were born. So that's pretty oh. exciting. <laughs> We're not born in that year. No, no. absolutely not. The no. worst movies of 1964. <laughs> According to this list, Santa uh -huh. Claus Conquers the Martians oh. is the worst oh. movie. Okay. It's not it's just you, Murray. The Incredible Strange Creatures Who Stopped Living and Became... What? Uh, cut off. Who became... <laughs> we will never Mixed know. up zombies. Didn't we watch uh, Mystery Science Theater of the people who stopped living and became... We might have. Back door to hell. Oh, there was a movie called Teenage Strangler. Whoa. Mm. Swedish Wedding Night. Ooh la la. Ooh, la, Psych la. Uh, Poncho's Hideaway. Okay, so there's a lot Gold of bad finger. looking movies. The Ooh, Creeping Gold Terror. Finger. Oh, that's a classic. Mm -hmm. I said that one already. Oh. Oh, I, did movie. anyone hear him say Goldfinger? No. No. Okay, the horror sure. of <laughs> the horror of Party Beach. That's a, a uh, uh, Sloppy Seconds has a song about that movie. Mm. Yeah. Well, Gracie, you'll have a lot to pick from, including Elvis kissing cousins. Oh, so thank can wow. sort of be anything. Um, it's up to you. Uh, think long and hard. You have, I suppose, a week to let us know. I think yeah. for our next recording, and then um, okay. we'll go from there. And then you can present the movie, and then we can watch it whenever. And then after we've watched the movie, then the next person can spin the wheel. Or we'll it's very we'll, exciting. We'll, we'll do it again. I like it. And then. Yeah, and then it just, uh, and then I'm hoping, I think I was hoping more than anything that the wheel would look cool, and I think it did, and that we'll find <laughs> other yeah. ways to use it. Yeah, I loved it. Um, well, there you have it. That's the episode. Click. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys, uh, hey, uh, as we're leaving, uh, er Eric and I got a pretty cool pull yesterday on the break show. Did you guys see that by any chance? Uh, I missed oh. it. We pulled a, uh, a Julius Caesar relic. Whoa! <laughs> a knife? A one of no. 99 knife? <laughs> <laughs> it's a piece of leather from his tu a tunic that he wore. Wow. Wow. So now F Face owns a piece of Jul like a, le a legitimate piece of Julius Caesar. It clothes. looks like that. And then it How, has it it's legit, a piece of it, That's what I'm saying, Gavin. There's no way. It There's is. There's no way. They buy them authenticated at uh at like auctions and then they cut them up and they're all they're all completely above board. It's uh it's let's fucking we own some Caesar, baby. That dude died before Jesus. Huh. Well, <laughs> thanks for listening to <laughs> Face. <laughs> real str real strong ending on this one today. 185 <laughs> Gracie uh has to pick a movie from 1964 and uh we're very excited. You can follow us uh at uh at Facepod on Instagram and on Twitter, and you can go to facepod.com slash first and sign up to support us directly and watch our first stuff, which is Let's Plays, and uh, that's pretty much it. Any Anything else so we can wrap this thing up? 
Gracie, have you ever seen a film that old? <laughs> um, actually, yes, in school. What's oh. the old? What uh, you, you may not know it off the top of your head, but uh, what's the oldest movie you've ever seen? Mm, mm, probably like it happened one night. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Hey, do you guys think we should do a murder draft? I was thinking about that. No. Best murders? Yeah. Because I'm going to be in the first round, so. That's true. <laughs> I was also thinking, what if I'd we did a not. person draft? Like, what if we just did a draft of, like, Nick Cage movies? You've, we've, you've uh, pitched that before? I just like yes. Nick Cage. I just like yeah. Nick Cage. I just want to do Nick you've Cage. You've pitched that before, I'd argue, in a better format. Yeah, definitely. Oh, the f the fight cage match thing. Yeah. Yeah. When, when's the best episode going to be? Like one eighty seven or something. Oh my god! All right, bye, <laughs> bye, <laughs> goodbye. What about a year, a wheel of months? Oh my god! <laughs> cut, 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 cut! <laughs> Everyone, stop! No more. Hey guys, Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of F Face. How do you spike a heart rate? The intro happened. Cornhole anyone? Jeff forgot the butterfly pose. Accidental audio. Let's go ice skating. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of F Face.